Okay, this is part three. And I was breaking down Exodus chapter three, verse 14, when it says, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, thus, um, he said, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And God said, moreover unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial until all generations forever until all generations forever forever right now i'm gonna show you how in genesis chapter 22 how the name jehovah jireh was injected and just follow me and use your scriptures use the scriptures this is not me i'm going to show how it was injected all right, Exodus chapter six, and I'm gonna start at the, and I'm gonna start at the second verse. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at the first verse, Exodus chapter six. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall they, shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am. You see that right? Means Ahiah. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of, of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. Now, that should ring a bell. Think about it. Let's read it again. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, Ahiah, I am. Y'all see that, right? The Lord and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. Right. But by my name. Ahiah. Was I not known to them? He only gave his name to who? Moses. He didn't give his name to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So how in the world would Abraham used the name Jehovah Jireh in Genesis chapter 22. That's a straight injection. Satan has been made again. Read through the scriptures. Pray. Ask the Most High for his understanding. You'll see it. It's injected. That's why it's in caps. It's in caps. It's hypnosis. And then if you break down the word Jehovah, we understand that that means mischief, ruins, calamity, falling. So why would God link his name to something that's falling in mischief? No, that's Satan. He had time to edit the book while we were in slavery and fighting uh, for rights so we can drink in the same, you know, at the same water fountain as, as the white people. When we was fighting for rights in the back of the bus, trying to sit in the front of the bus, of course, they had time to deal with the book. And I keep telling our people that we are the children of, of Israel. Please show me how we're not. Those Jewish people that's in Israel today are telling you by their name, Jewish. They're not the people. Well, I don't care. I don't care about the name. I hear this all the time. I don't care who cares. God loves everyone. We run away from knowledge. This is this is knowledge that's going to help you. So you will understand how to read the Bible before you get confused. But I'm the one that's being confused and I'm the one that's being seduced by spirits. But I wanted to show that part of it. Now I'm going to break down the word Jesus. Again, you can accept it or you don't have to, but it's true. I'm going to break down the word Jesus in your strong section of your concordance. Let's go to strong uh, strongs number 2424. Twenty four, twenty four.
okay? Now, it says, Jesus. What does that sound like? Zeus. E-A, Zeus. Then it says, the name of our Lord. Which Lord? Our? Who? Which? Who? Ours? It doesn't even, it's separating. It didn't say the name of the Lord. It says of our Lord. That's the Greek's Lord. That's Zeus. Now, I would like for someone to show me how this, the name Jesus links to the Hebrew. You can't do it. If you even type in the, the concordance on the internet, in the Hebrew, if you type in Jesus, it would say not found. But if you type it in, in the Greek, it would say of Hebrew origin, which is a lie. You can't type that in. I mean, it, it, it's, it's not going to link just like you can't link, link Jehovah to a higher or I am that I am. You can't link it. Again, we're following the customs and the paganism of heathens. This is not a lie. Just look at the scriptures. I'm telling, I just tell anybody, look at the scriptures. Pray first and fast. I don't need to pray and fast. I did the study already. Being puffed up. Maybe you was deceived. Pray and fast. Stay away from that shrimp and that crab and, and garbage that the Most High told us not to eat. And you'll see. It'll come to you. You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're just going to be like, whoa. Wow. Just come away from it. I, I ask anybody, pray fast. Don't take my word for it. You'll see it. You'll see it. Okay, our Savior's name is Yeshaya. If you want to say Yahshua, that's his name. That means saving deliverance or deliverer. Jesus does not link at all to the Hebrew because Joseph and Mary, again, was Hebrews. Joseph and Mary Hebrews, why would the Most High name his son out of some Greeks? And that was going to put him up on the cross. I told someone to look this up, and now I'm going to make a video. I'm going to add this to the video. This is off the subject, though. Babylonica, right? That's a weeping willow. That's what we call it. A weeping willow. I was telling the family member to look this information up. I don't need to know about the history. Come on, man. Seriously? This is a weeping willow tree, right? I can show you out of the Bible where, I, where the slaves hung their harps, where the, where, where the Israelites hung their harps. America is Babylon. And I'm a, I'm going to say this as well. I'm leaving here because the Bible says it. Okay, because I was getting some emails about, you know, are you are you leaving America? And I and I told them, yes, so I am leaving America. Not because I'm scared. I don't fear anyone. It's not about fear, it's about obedience because the Most High said it through his word. It says flee. It's fallen, it's fallen. It has become the habitation of devil. That's in Revelations chapter 18. We have to flee. And it's not just in Revelations chapter 18. It's in Jeremiah chapter 50 and 51. You can read those scriptures. It'll tell you to flee. And I will do a study. I will do a, uh, make a video on that. And I will make the, the next video I'll be making is showing you how the Jewish people that's over there in Israel today, how they got there. OK, um, look out for that video. 
Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get more pushback. Again, I still love my family members. Uh, we can, you know, again, the Bible says you can be at variance. And maybe this is what he was talking about. So, again, I still love him. And whoever is following, I, I thank you all. That's all the subscribers and that's on YouTube. I'm not looking for, you know, to be popular or anything like that. I just want the Bible to be, prop, you know, popular. I want people to come to Christ. You know, I'm told from this information that I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm leading people the wrong way when I'm telling them to repent for their sins and be baptized. You know, I have I have videos about the importance of baptism. I just don't follow your Pentecostal faith tradition or your doctrine because it's it doesn't line up with the scriptures. It doesn't. That's why the title of the book is called Acts of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, I can prove that, but not with this video. I have it on another video that the, that the Holy Spirit was already in effect in the Old Testament. It's in Psalms. That's why it says in Acts chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost was fully come. What does fully mean? It, it, hasn't, it was just in sporadic form in the Old Testament. It fell fully. In the New Testament. All the signs of the end times. Okay. I'll be making more videos. This is my life. I'll be doing this for the rest of it.